Welcome to the Ray People Podcast Part 2. Is it Part 2 or Episode 2? It is Part 2. Episode 2. Welcome to Episode 2. A bit different this week. What? In that we're in a different environment. Oh yes, we're in my new house. We're in your new house this time. It's uh, lovely here in London, the Big Mist. Yes, specifically South East London. Well, we don't know start giving addresses away, do we? But we're here in your new house. When did you move in here? Uh, well, um, technically I haven't really moved in yet because I still don't have a bed. Yeah. And I don't have my sofa. You're saying that as if that's the only two things you haven't got. Well, uh, as if other than that, it's fine. Well, it is. What else is missing? It's like you're squatting. It's not like I'm squatting. It's minimalist. Describe where you are now. I'm sitting on some big floor cushions. Uh, in front of my Moroccan oak table. Oh, would you listen to yourself? Which will be in the dining room. But you are sat on the floor? No, I'm sat on big cushions. But you are on the floor? The cushions are on the floor. Yeah, so you're choosing to be on the cushions rather than the sofa. Oh, there isn't one. No, that's what I said. The oh, sofa. the chair. Oh, there's not a chair. The sofa and the bed are missing. What's this I'm sat on? That's the footstool that goes with the sofa. So I'm sat on a footstool. Brilliant. Like a, you what's that me, word? You a made put- me feel very welcome. I bought you poppadoms, you got me to sit on a footstool. What did I buy you, though? You bought me sushi, but I yeah. just thought, I'm not actually Japanese. No, but you like sushi. If you wanted to do something with my culture, like I did for yours last week, you should have bought me fucking pork scratchings or lard. something. Lard. Lard, yeah. A big lump of lard. Yeah, I would like some lard. I'd have lard for ages. Some bread and dripping. Well, anyway, you might notice by Raji's voice uh, that he's a... Uh, <laughs> do that again. A bit sniffly. Do that thing you just did again. Oh, bless him. Look at that. You're poorly sick, aren't you? I'm a bit... I've done a poorly. Yeah, you've done a... <laughs> <laughs> Raj, you've done a poorly. It's a shame. Um, and you do. I noticed on the phone last night that you were suffering. And, but you're soldiering on and you do the podcast. I am. And and what time did we speak on MSN last night? It must have been knocking four o'clock. I haven't slept since then. Wow. So, another reversal. Yeah. So, this is brilliant. This is like the polar opposite of last week's show. Because last week we were in my house, this week we were in your house, yeah. last week I've been up all night, this week you've been up all night. It's, it's like I'm just copying you. Uh, the reason I think you're being very brave about in the podcast this week is because you know me. I do. And you know how I'll react to you being ill. Yes. I was driving here thinking, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Because normally you take my ribbing and my bullying square on the chin, you take it as it's probably intended in fairness. Yeah. But I thought, this week, I could really push your buttons this week. I could, because when you're ill, you're not as patient. Nobody's as patient. Well, I think, I think I'm think i still as patient. No, I'm I think I could, I think I could really, really get to you. And do you no. know what? The first thing that I've done that's going to get to you, that what? you don't even know about. What? Because your Sky Mum was just here installing your Sky. Yeah. When you were doing that, I drank your last lemon zip. You what? <laughs> no, don't. I genuinely drank your last name, is it? But I had those so that we could get through the day. Yeah, well, why did you only have one then? Because that's what I had at my last place. I just had two left. I've had one this morning and I was yeah. going to have one later. Well, that one this morning was your last one, sir, because I've just drunk your last lemon I don't believe you've done that. In fact, there's a little bit left here in this cup. Can you see it there? Look. I don't want it. You're no, not getting it, I'm having no, it. I don't believe you've just done that. Why? <sighs> but you're not. Why are you drinking my lemsip? Because I'm doing it as a test. What? I'm doing it's, it's, it's a social experiment and a scientific experiment in many ways. What's happening? It. <laughs> what's happening is. No. Is I've I've drunk the lemsip because I'm not ill. I'm not ill at all. I'm fine. I feel there's, there's nothing on me at all. I feel fine. I'm but, still but waiting be, for the logic of why because, you drunk my lemsip. But because I'm in your house with you, there's a decent chance that I might catch your cold. So I'm going to see where the lemsip really does work. They don't it, prevent cold. Why not? If, what, what do you mean they don't prevent colds? If somebody that's not ill has a lemsip, a preemptive lemsip, because you think they're going to be ill, you can't then have that, a that preemptive should... lemsip. Um, I just did. So already, obviously the listeners can't see your face, but I can. Already, I'm pushing your buttons. Already, just... the thing that you said I wouldn't be able to do is no, already happening. Just do your intro, proper intro. That was the, that was the <laughs> intro. What's it about this week, Ian? It's not about anything. Right. I'll oh, see you when we have that. <laughs> Should we just sit in silence for a minute? This isn't funny. This is this is this is not funny and it's not interesting for the listener. Why don't you say something? No, I'm not <laughs> You just want to hear me all muffled. You're, and, you're and genuinely upset I've had your last lemsip, aren't you? I think it's a very silly thing for you to have done, because at some point now Silly? Gonna, well, because it's just gonna I don't want it to be silly, I want it to be it's, evil. It's unproductive. Demon like and nasty. I don't want it to be silly. Well, I'm not going to let you get to me, but it's, at some point we're going to have to stop and I'm going to have to go out and get some. I've already got to you. I can see it in your eyes. You're a strange fish. <laughs> Either that or you're acting. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you've proven that you don't do that very well. Thank you. <laughs> I'm getting to it already. <laughs> and why is Steve not here again? I, I, I told you, he can't be here. Yeah, but why? He can't. I can't talk about him. What do you mean you can't talk about it's it? It's legal. But well, that's the second time. This is the second episode. He's been arrested. All right. He's what? Arrested. Why? Can't talk about it. Oh, come on. Can't. It's to do with kids. Can't talk about it. To do... 
Um, you... Well, I do want to talk about that. <laughs> of course, what? of course not. Um, <gasps> what I do? Well, is fifteen a kid? Um, what I do want to talk, what I do want to talk about is um, what I do want to talk about is is I need, we need to address the complaints. Have uh, you had complaints last week's show? Go on. The, the overall I mean, there are plenty of them, obviously, but the overall complaints yeah. were about you. What do you mean about me? You said you were being overly racist. I was being racist. Yeah, apparently you were being your casual racism was irritating, and was and just because it's casual racism, and this is where I agree with them, just because it's casual racism doesn't mean that it's not racism. It's, st- it's still racism, Raji. Do we... So do if you're going to keep on with these little racist jokes that you do, then... Could you that... remind me of one of these racist jokes that you've had complaints about? When you said that Indian people only eat poppadoms? Uh, I don't think I was the one that said that. You implied that. Who bought the poppadoms? Who ate the poppadoms, Raji? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Who so, ate them? So it's now my fault for being Who, friendly. Who's and... the guilty party? The drug dealer or the person that takes the drugs? The dealer, obviously. No, it's the person that takes the drugs. How do you work that out? Just cos. Um, the other complaints that we had, <laughs> on, um, on, on a far more serious note um, than the racist complaints, were from Doctor Who people, Doctor Who fans, who um, who took exception to my uh, declaration that they were all nutcases and oh. that sort of thing. So, they go, so they're not my friend. Did they watch you, though? Did um, they say? They, they know that I was in it. You've lost your fans. Well, there's not, I'm not, well uh, to be fair, I wasn't wanting to pick up fans particularly for that performance. Okay. But I see what I did do, right, because I, I felt bad about it, because I'm a big Star Wars fan and yeah. stuff. I wouldn't go to a convention, as, as I believe I said. Yeah. But, you know, I, but I get it. I get how people get obsessed with things. I understand it. And I was being vaguely tongue-in-cheek, but they don't know that. They don't know me. So right. I, I will apologise unreservedly to the Doctor Who fans. You're apologising? Well, not really. It's, it's just, I'm just doing it. Is this a word first? Well, no, because I'm, I'm not, I, I don't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> you just ruined your apology. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm apologising, you know. They can't say I didn't apologise for it, because I did. I'm just apologising. I don't mean it. But obviously. it doesn't count if you don't mean it. Oh, come off it. But I felt bad. I thought, oh, okay, maybe I've given my a hard time. You know, what I should do, I should go and research this. I'm not one for researching. But I went um, and I registered on a Doctor Who uh, fan site. Right. I think it, I think it's called Gallifrey Gallifrey One or something like that. Okay. Called. And I thought I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go talk to these people. I'm gonna go you know see what see if they are. Well, like know, in the forums or yeah, in the in, chat room. In the chat room it was. Right. And it was you know see what they're like. And you know and I went into the chat room. It's quite late one night. And and I'm honestly I'm very pleased to say that I was completely right. What they're you... complete fucking maniacs. Oh no! What did you do? They're, right. I went on. I went on there, and I was just I was just chatting normally. I just was saying hello to people and all that sort of thing. Yes. I don't really know anything about Doctor Who, so I couldn't really join in with the conversations. Right. At one point, I said I like K9. Okay. Yeah, but then they just started talking about things that I didn't know what they run about. That K9 was. So what sort of stuff were they talking made about? Made by like... the Daleks or something? No, K9 wasn't made by the Daleks. This is where they, they were theories, Raji. They took it beyond the show. Oh gosh. Um, but I was talking to this girl. I'm not going to say what the girl's name was, because I don't think it was a real name anyway. Did she have, like, a Doctor Who name? She did, yeah. So I'm chatting to this girl, and she was getting a bit, as people are want to do in these chat rooms, yeah. a bit, you know, she was getting a bit saucy, really. She was being, she, she kept saying, I like you, Ray. I like you, Ray. So you were there as Ray? As Ray Peacock. I put, I put Ray Peacock in. Sir, I'm not one of these anonymous chat room people. No, but, so, oh, sorry, was this before or after you'd appeared in the show? After. This is after you'd appeared in the show? Yeah. And after you were in Doctor Who magazine, your name was listed? Yeah, but Ray Peacock wasn't listed. I thought... I was listed as Ian Bolesworth. Oh, right, 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 okay. Yeah, so they, okay. Didn't, so they didn't necessarily make the link. They did eventually. Um, so I'm trying to scale. And she was being really saucy. Okay. Proper rude. And started talking to me privately and stuff. And I quite, I quite like that. I think that's quite amusing. And then, out of the blue, said, Oh, do you want a recipe for Dalek cakes? Right. That's the weirdest way I've ever been stopped having a wank. What the fuck is a Dalek cake? I've actually made Dalek cookies. What? What's wrong with you? No, because it was with the children, with my kids. We, 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 there's a pack you can buy, and, and you get a pre-pack with a cutout thing, so you can make cookies in the shape but of But why did this woman think, when she was on about sucking my cock, that I did would then really? suddenly want a fucking recipe for Dalek cakes? Well, I don't know why you'd go from cock to cake. I mean, I suppose it almost sounds well, similar. Well, I'm still, I'm still going to apologise to the Doctor Who fans. But yeah. you are, that's the sort of person that's spearheading you. That's the sort of person that's, that's the front of your campaign. But do you, do you think that late night on a chat room is really representative of your standard Doctor Who fans? Why, do you think the rest of them will be in bed with their wives? Well, possibly, yeah. Don't be stupid. <laughs> of course late night in a chat room is the perfect place to find them. <laughs> In the daytime, they're watching DVD extras. 
Late at night is when they go online. That's when they get the loneliest. Is it? But I am sorry to the Doctor Who fans. See, I think it's, it's, it's getting a bit difficult here because you're you're becoming a closet Doctor Who fan because you know you're doing the very thing that you're criticising. I.e., it was late night. You were online. Exactly. You went into a chat room. Yeah. So so does that mean that you fit all those rules? That you're mental and, and lonely? And it was a sociological experiment. I was doing that because otherwise, how would I know? If I didn't experience it, how would I know? It's like when people dismiss religion and haven't ever been religious in their life. How would you know? I was once re quite religious in my early teens and then fucking knocked it all on the head. But I went into it, right. decided it was all bollocks and came out of it again. Don't be wide-eyed okay. at me, it is. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't understand, I genuinely don't understand what with religion, how apparently sane people and apparently very well-adjusted people in that yeah. start fucking believing in fairies. Well, I don't get not, it. It's not so much fairies, is it? I mean, all the religions, they believe in a deity. I mean, they're not... Yeah. You know, and, and the whole question of faith versus science. And no, all faith, that. faith is the biggest fucking criminal of all. Because faith basically will get over any argument. So you can go, oh. no, well, you listen to what you believe. It's absolute nonsense. They go, oh, no, well, that's the point of faith. You have to have faith to be... Fuck faith. Don't be so stupid. I could say I've got six arms. You look at me. I've clearly not. I go, oh, no, no, no. But you need to believe I have... No, you need to have faith. You see? Oh, but that's and different. only the people that have the faith, they're the only ones who will they're the ones who'll get the chocolate when they come to heaven because the other people won't get it because they don't have the faith. It's oh. absolute fucking nonsense. Right. I'm on the record of saying that as well. So, so all religion is nonsense. Every last one. And, and all Doctor Who fans are nonsense. Only, only when they start talking about Doctor Who. Okay. When they're being filthy, they're actually all right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here's the thing. What? I don't, um, on your MySpace. Yes. Now, I don't normally take much notice of your MySpace. Cheers. Um, that... But last night, I was looking on your MySpace, and there was a, a link to a trailer for a film that you're in. Yes. Which I didn't know anything about, this film. Yes, you did. It's called... No, I didn't. It's called Unforgettable? The Unforgettable. Okay, The Unforgettable. I yeah. went and watched this trailer, which is, again, something that I don't normally do with you. I know you're, you're all constantly sending bulletins out saying, Oh, this trailer's up. This trailer, oh, kicks on in Australia. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I'd never, I'd never go and look at it, Margie. I don't, I don't want to judge you by your performing. I'd judge you by the, the man before me. <laughs> um, however, last night I looked at this unforgettable, this fuck. Yeah. Fuck it, what's all that? What are you doing? Uh, it's a love story. It's a fucking bluey. <laughs> You're in a porno film, sir. No, it's not quite that bad. Raji, there was a girl with her bosoms out. Yes, I On know. the trailer. Yes, I That's know. That's a fucking trailer. I know. And she had her bosses out. Yeah. And what? me all over them. But yeah, no, yeah, it was, in a way, it was horrible. It was, I tell you what was more horrible was the fact that you looked a little bit like a Bollywood step <laughs> You know, from step to the you look, you look like step to with your hair tight, you look kind of creepy. But oh, in the old one, I'm playing the older bit. Yeah, I didn't like that. But I would, but the busters were fine. Yeah. But again, couldn't have a wank because you were on there. Oh, but it's, it, but it's, sorry, I'd cut it, you off. It looked really, really rude. It is a bit rude. Yeah. It also, if you forgive me for saying, looked shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, no, I don't forgive you for saying Oh, obviously, that. I'd want to promote your career, but it looked fucking dr I did not understand a fucking word of the dialogue. No, the dialogue is a little um, uh, cerebral, shall we say. I mean, I actually, to be fair, I do watch the trailer uh, with the sound turned down. Yeah. The bits of the script that they've put into the trailer are, it is quite, um, you know, you need a dictionary nearby. Yeah, I think Because it's enough. an intellectual movie. Is it fucked up? It is, ridiculous. it's all about a writer. And it's very a intellectual. fucking wank movie, don't be ridiculous, sir. Uh, yeah. It'll be on Channel 5 at 11 o'clock at night. Well, hopefully. When the pubs have shut, half eleven it'll be on Channel Five. <laughs> People will come home, not one hour, and then you'll come on and go, oh, "Fucking, he gets everywhere." This look <laughs> Ru ruins it for everyone because the lady with the bus has looked quite hot, from what she, I can she's, say. She's lovely. Couldn't really act, in my opinion, <gasps> but you know, it was it was nice to see some busters. Nice busters. Yeah. Hurry up then, because I'm going to take another bite of my pasta. You played before. Ash Ferrara in EastEnders. Yes, I did. That's just because people have been saying to me, which one is he? <laughs> sorry. Yeah, actually, no, you are sorry. You know when you're recording a podcast, it's no. perhaps not a good idea to eat a fucking pasty at the same time. Well, what are you doing? I thought you wouldn't do a bit of an intro thing. I was just taking a couple of bites, and then you just did one, one And what bite. made you think that they won't be able to hear you eating in the background? Because I'm going to put my hand over my mouth. What's, what are you eating? Pasty. Cornish pasty? Yeah. Okay. Ginsters. That's weird. Why? I just didn't know your dad was eating that sort of thing. I love it. Don't start on that again. Start on what again? Just, right, so anyway, yes, you asked me about, uh, who's been asking you which one I was? Loads of people have. And as they specifically we said. We didn't say at any point in, in last week's show who you were. No, that's true. But we, we talked about you being a celebrity and all this sort of thing, but then didn't say who you were. That's we said true. little Roger James who used to be on EastEnders but ruined it, but other than that, nothing. Well, I'll tell you what, many, many years ago, yeah. that actually happened you, to me in a casting. What, you did ruin EastEnders? No. 
No, someone... I think that's that's a matter of history, Roger. I think everybody knows that. That well, you and your family came into that show and decimated it. That's not true, actually. I met a woman today, and she recognised me, and she said she thought I was the best one <laughs> in the family. You always say this. You know, she, that's what she you said. You always say that everyone say, But you say that like it's a fucking yeah. achievement. It's like Himmler walking around going, well, does somebody tell me that I was the best one out of the Nazis? Well, it doesn't mean anything. What does that mean? You're the best one. I think it does mean something because the, the other guys in the show, in the family. You're talking very, through very... pasty. Sorry. But the other guys in the show were really accomplished. They're all accomplished actors. I mean, they're all. I think every single one of us had a movie under our belt before we even started the show. Yeah, what was yours? East is East. And that reminds me. And was that the same for all them as well? Were all theirs East is East? No, as they well. weren't. But saying that, I was going back to the casting thing earlier. Yep. It just reminded me that I was in a casting once at the BBC. This is before I did EastEnders. I was at a casting for a TV show. Yeah. And as usual in the casting, they've got your CV and they've got your stuff in front of them, blah, 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 chatting away. And a woman said to me, Have you seen East is East? Mm-hmm. And I was like, What? Well, um, yeah, I'm I'm in it. Yeah. And she looked at my C V and quite clearly said, And which one were you? Yeah. Well that's just racist. How was it racist? That's but not racist. She, but she didn't mean like that. She meant which one which brown one were you? No, yeah, that's yeah, just, she that's, she's being oversensitive, that's nonsense. I'm not being oversensitive. If, if someone was talking to me about fucking I don't know, that episode of Doctors I was in and then they go, which one were you? I'm not going to go, oh, how racist? You're assuming that everyone was white. But everyone is a doctor. The lead oh, girl in it opposite me was black. Oh, that's true. The sure. one that I did the screen kiss with. Oh, that's true, your screen kiss. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they said in the script it was mouth-to-mouth resuscitation, but I think we knew what was going on there. There was there was activity, wasn't there? It was great. The first take of that, when she put her mouth onto mine, I actually put my arms around her. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be unconscious. Yeah. I just put my arms around her. Reflex We did 33 takes of that. Did you really? 33 what a surprise. takes. Of it. No, it was nothing to do with me. Yeah, of course not. No, Honestly, yeah. that first take was didn't tell what it's about. After that, it was just they just took it from every single angle. I'm, sh- I'm sure the director was getting off of it. <laughs> I didn't half look fat when I was in Doctors. I didn't think you did. Oh, I looked fucking massive. They kept filming me from beneath. You should always film a fat man from above. Really? Yeah. Is that a rule? Yeah, golden rule of television. Okay. I like, I like, I always like stories about you getting recognised though. I always like it when, tell, because oh, yeah, my very, very, very favourite one is a recent one. It was from last week. When I was in Lewisham. When you were in Lewisham in the shopping centre. That was really annoying, actually, because one of the things that happens is uh, sometimes people shout things out. I don't understand why people assume I know they're talking to me. And the classic example of this is what happened last week. Was I was in a lift, and this woman got into the lift, and she was on the phone to someone, and she was shouting into the phone. Right, so she got into the lift, there was this other woman who had some children with her. Yeah. And this woman on the phone came in, she was like, Can you just get the children out of the way? And I was like, whoa, jeez, that's a bit, you know, rude. Brilliant characterisation. Uh, like can you say, very quickly say the name of your manager, your agent? No, I'm not going to. Uh, so, <laughs> anyway, so anyway, as she carried on, she's yabbering away on the phone. We're going up like two flights of the car park thing. And as I got out of the lift, she was like, hello, hello, in my brain. I'm sort of partially ignoring it, but she said And you're what? In my brain. This must be a new character. Oh, shut up. And then, just as I step out of it, actually out from the lift, I hear her say behind me, you see, now he's not on telly anymore, he ignores you. <laughs> I fucking love that. What's that about? It doesn't even make sense. Now he's not on telly anymore. He ignores you. Oh. I also, how was I supposed to Can I just to say that this is going to be the worst fucking section of a podcast has ever been? Why? Because all it is is you going... No, I think I'm speaking clearer. You're speaking clearer with a pasty in your mouth? Yeah. Nonsense. No, I think that's true. Wait till you hear about it, you'll love it. What, I love the way you're eating? Yeah. Anyone who was stupid enough to listen to this podcast in the first place yeah. has now gone, oh, I could quite fancy do that. I could do with a pasty, actually. Well, that's they've, good. They've turned it off and they've gone to get a fucking pasty. Well, We or, could say anything now. Well we, well, well, we are. We could say really bad things. Oh, actually, you have cut down on the bad words this time, haven't you? Did you get complaints about it? What, 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 what me saying cunt? Stop it. Well, I have to say that I listen back to the podcast. I say that as if I did it just once. <laughs> I must have listened to that podcast about fucking 40 times. Yeah. I hate it now. You, like our listener. Later on, later on, our listener loves it. Later on, <laughs> you said cunt. Did I? Yes, you did. Only, only to refer to what you were talking about. But you about, still said it. it. Yeah, but I was During the cunt bit, you were going, oh, oh, not the C word, the C word. And then when you took like you calling people cunts, you went, yeah, I just went, I'm calling them all cunts. You just said, Ah, uh, but again, that was you using your Jedi powers. <laughs> What, I made you, you say cunt? To, you told me to. When was it you know, the Dulwich Comedy thing? You told me to call them all cunt. I'm, re- I'm reporting. That's not me speaking. That's a reporting. So if I report about that girl saying nigger on Big Brother, am I alright to say nigger? Did she? I saw it on the news. I'm not, I don't watch oh. it. I fucking hate Big Brother. No, you don't. You love it. So 
Sir, I fucking hate Big Brother with a passion. I despise it, and I don't, and I don't hate it. And what carry on watching it? I think it's a, an evil, yeah. an absolute cancer in society. I think it's a fucking. But well, I don't watch the normal proper one. Uh, well, I, t- I, I tell you, because what, what I used to do was watch the first the the first show when they put them all in that, and then just sort of dipping and out of it. But I. I think it was last year I saw a bit of it, and I, I this is like... But it's like they, they, they choose people who are, who are definitely, you know, ill in some way to, to ridicule them, basically, don't they? I mean, they've I had a guy with Tourette's, they've had... I don't think they, they do. I think, I think it's a celebration of evil. I think it's a, I'd walk into Big Brother. If I went to the Big Brother audition, I'd walk into it, easily. What do you mean? They'd just go, this bloke's a cunt, fucking get him in there. See, I don't know that they would, because I think, I think they'd, be t- they'd be too worried about the fact that you're, you're quite sensible and you have your faculties. They want people who, who, who just lose it all the time, don't they? Because then it's, oh, it's I'm, headlines. I'm known to erupt. Yes, but it's, it's crafted and it's kind of, it's not what you are known for. I mean, you're known for being, you know, a well-constructed comedian and all of that. I tell you, if you, if you go to any number of women's refuges, <laughs> then... Your name is Mark. My, oh, my, no, there's this picture of me on the walls. Don't go near this man. You'll, you'll think it's, it's the best thing that ever happened to you. Sooner or later, you'll fucking suss him out oh and you'll dear. bin him to the side like, let every last little one of them. Oh, dear. There's a worry. <laughs> I was thinking of having you doing movie reviews on this. I could. I well, love you, watching movies. Mm, yeah, but you couldn't. Why? You, you came on the phone the other night. Yeah. We don't really speak very much on the phone, me and you. It's well, been sort of MSN that we speak on. Texting and MSN. I'm yeah, not, yeah. To be honest, I'm not a fan of the phone. Really? No. I, I kind of get feel awkward on a phone. I've heard people say that before. I think that's a stupid thing to say. It's just talking. Go on, movie but you, review. Yeah, you came on the other night and you said, uh, Oh, I've watched Hostel. Oh, it was a bit full on, wasn't it? And then it transpired that you hadn't watched Hostel at all. You'd watched five minutes of the end of it. Yeah. I didn't know that it was the end, though. Until you told me. Yeah, but how can you base an entire movie review on seeing five minutes of a film? Because what I saw was very full on. Whether I'd seen the whole film or not, that, yeah, but fact Hostel, that, that was so full tell you, on. you, Hostel's a fucking brilliant film. Hostel builds to that. There, there's stuff in the middle of it, and the stuff, you know, yeah. there's quite nasty stuff in the middle of it. There's a bit where they cut this guy's tendons on the back of his ankles oh. and then tell him that Teddy can go and he stands up and can't walk it's fucking there brilliant. are bits with a woman with her eye hanging out yeah, that's and a guy the, blow torches the, her face and that's the end of the, that's the fucking peak of it that's where it builds up to well that's what I oh, that, oh, that's, that's the that's the false peak there's a little bit at the end after that as well but, the, right. you, but you can't base a film review on that. Yes, but I technically wasn't giving a film review. I was just giving my opinion of no, what I'd what, seen. What we're going to get next? Oh, it was shit, that film. All I did was get his wife's head in the box and shoot Kevin Spacey. I'll tell you what I did really, really, really enjoy was Sin City. I saw the, the director's thing of that. The director's thing? You know, the director's edit or whatever they call it. Okay. The director's cut. That was brilliant. Which director's cut did you see? Oh, I have no idea the one that was on telly. The director's cut was on TV? I think so, yeah. Because there was bits in it that I don't remember from when I first saw uh, it. Okay, so. uh, well I've got the American version of Sin City, the proper full director's cut. Oh, you Which is where they, where they... You smug person. Uh, well, it's not smug, I just bought it online. It was, <laughs> it, right. it was no, I think it's generally on sale. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah, I, it's I, just well, the way you made it sound. You made it sound all very exotic. Rodriguez didn't send it to me and say, "Don't show this to anyone." <laughs> <laughs> you can watch it. You can watch it, Ray, but nobody else is to see this. <laughs> we could do a re- movie review section. Like, I think you should set me a task. Well, no. What what movie have you seen this week? Uh, I haven't seen any movies this week. Right. So is that is that what the movie review is going to be like then? So it's time for Raji's movie review. Raji, what movie did you see this week? Oh, I haven't watched it this week. No, but you didn't. And tell that me was to watch Raji's it. movie review this week. You didn't. You didn't tell me to watch any. What I'm saying is, it's from now on. If you tell me to watch a film, or you say right, review. If I know I've got to review one for next week, and I can say what the film is, well, if you want to. Okay. This week, I want you to review Rocco meets Trinity. Is that a real film? Yeah, it is. Who's Rocco? Rocco Freddy. Who's he? He's a porn star. I can't and, review a And porn by the way, movie. And, and Meat is M E A T S. Well, look at what, what film do you want to review? No, you, I don't know, but I could well, review that's a what, film. Well, that's I'll review one. a film for next right. week. Rocco Meets Trinity. No, I'm not doing Rocco Meets Trinity. Well, you, well, you can't fucking say I'll review any film, and then when I say one, say you won't. No, but I'll, I'll do a proper film. I want you to review Rocco Meets Trinity. If it truly exists, I'll have a. I'll it have truly it. exists. If you're going to Soho, you'll get it easy. So I've got to buy it as you well. Know, you've got to go buy it. No, I'm not going into no, a Soho to. sex shop to buy it. You have to. No, I'm not. You agreed to this, though. No, right I didn't you? agree to buy it. I'm not going into a sex shop to buy it. Right, well, I'll, I'll bring it then. I'll bring it for you, and you can borrow it off me. Okay. 
and then you have to review Rocco Meets Trinity. All right. It's kind of in two sections. Of the Don't ruin it. And the second section. I've is a got bit, to discover oh, no, it for myself. I'm telling you, the second section I think is a bit rubbish. So you can just review the first section. Okay. So you're reviewing Rocco Meets Trinity. Rocco I, Meets Trinity. I also want you to review. No, only one. Um, in in your classic section. In the classics. The classic film Pretty Peaches is what I'd like to review. Is this another porn movie? Yeah. <laughs> so basically. <laughs> This is your way of just getting me to watch porn. I want you to review Pretty Features, but, Why do you want but, me to but I also, porn? as part of your challenge, I want you to find it and get it. You won't get it in a shop because it's banned. Pretty Peaches. It's called Pretty Peaches. Is it illegal? Uh, well, it's banned. Yes, it is, banned. is it like? Why was it banned? The most famous reason it was banned was because of the enema scene. Is what enema. Is. Yeah, the enema scene. There's also um, a, a rape scene of sorts, but it's not really a rape. But I don't. No, I don't want to. I don't want to even talk actually, about this. No, can I? Just, can I just? Uh, no, no, can wait, I, no, you can can I just correct myself? Because <laughs> oh, I, I, I don't want to go on the record as saying, but it's not really. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it, it is a right. You're in, a bit in, obsessed in, in with porno films, films, aren't you? Uh, not all. I do this I think, highly. I think, highly, highly is, is I, I think I do this highly artistic piece of work. Yeah. Very cerebral piece of work, and you sum it up when you've seen the trailer as a porn movie, and I, now I, you've yeah. got me to review two porn movies. Well, I'm not yet. You're not done. No, but you want me to. Yeah. No, I wouldn't say I'm obsessed with porn at all. I don't have any issue with pornography. Fine. So, I mean, you by all means attack me on it, I'll defend myself. No, I'm not, I, I've got nothing to attack you with, I mean, I don't understand it. Well, I'm a grown-up, what do you don't understand it? What's he doing? No. What's uh, that you're doing? Why is he putting that there? Uh, I don't understand this. No, I understand. What, what's she getting out of it? Why would a girl want to gag? Well, I that's it, no, it. I've seen that and I don't understand that. Well, the gagging thing? Yeah. Why? I just don't get that. Why? Well, it just really doesn't look in any way comfortable or enjoyable. Well, I presume that some people like it. A friend sent me a bloopers. Have you seen bloopers? Bloopers? He sent me a porn bloopers. Yeah, well, a lot of films have them on nowadays. Right. Well, a friend of mine sent me a, a sort of like a little MPEG. They thing. tend to be just girls farting. Well, this was a girl throwing up. Right, okay. When she gagged on a man's thing, and, and it, she threw up all over the place. And the whole crew yeah. were just absolutely pissing themselves laughing. And I was just watching it going... But that just looks really, really sort of not enjoyable or fun or anything. Yeah, but that's perhaps why it wasn't included in the final cut of the film. I so think you've led a very sheltered life, so I think you'd be surprised. But, you know, if, if a lady wants to gag, who am I or who are you to judge the lady? No, I'm not right, fine. Right. Go on. Publicity for you. What? Your new night. Ah, yes, my club night. That you're doing. Yeah. Now, as, you, as your friend, yes. I feel it only fair to lay my cards on the table. Go on. I find this fucking hilarious. Why? I find this is possibly the funniest and most misguided oh, and no. ha wait, harebrained of your schemes that you've ever come up with. And that, that sir, is its brilliance. <laughs> That is why it is so, so good. Well, do you know what you know? You... Let's, we need to establish what right. it actually is, first of all. Okay, well. Okay, now, you, you've been for a few meetings at a club in town. Is yeah. it Soho? Yes, Soho Club, Club okay. 49. You have put together... Yeah. Uh, a night. A night. An event night. night. An event night. For yeah, me. which is possibly going to be every week. And it's going to be called Benders. Well, we don't know that. You said Blenders. Because we were trying to come up with a word. You said blenders. Oh, I said blenders. I you call said, it benders. You said benders. Yeah, we don't I think know. Benders is a better night. And well, I'll explain because the reason we came up with the enders thing is because we there's a reference because both the two of us that are the main people involved doing it. Is that for me? Is that what that is? Yeah. For me, benders. Yeah. Oh That's my God, oh my God! Because we wanted to blend the thing and also have a sort of enders bit. Oh, brilliant! In the title. So who who have you got for me, Stenders? Then probably Bob. Is it Barbara Windsor or is it one no, of those Dirty Den? Is you no, it's Amy. Amy Chana, who's who's also a DJ. Amit, who? Amit Chan. Oh, stop it. You know who Amit is. Who's he that? played Addy. He was one of the brothers, one of the Ferrero brothers. I know, I know who he is. Yeah. I'm speaking for the nation. Well, he's on it. He's on my MySpace. He was one of your Ferrero brothers. Yes. He your was... MySpace is private. Um, okay, so he's one of the Ferrero yeah. brothers. It is private, you're right. We don't know which one. Um, he was Addy. Well, that means nothing to me. Gone around the store. Like everybody else, I stopped watching when that family turned up. <laughs> um, you're so cruel. But it's true. And I, and I knew one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and I was actually friends with one of them, and I stopped That's watching. slightly more worrying. Um, so you, you're doing this club night. So what's yes. he doing? He's a DJ. 
Yeah, he's a, he's a DJ. He does, he, he does stuff for uh, Radio One. He does stuff for BBC Asian Network. So he'll be laying down some tracks. He's the, yeah. It's going to be R and B. It's going to be some fun. Going to be a bit of banger mix. It's going to be a whole, a whole good. So stuff. so his reason for being there is is without question. He's, he's, yeah. got, he's got a good reason for being yeah, there. Yeah, and he's going to get gonna a couple the... of sort of star DJs to join him. So it should be about three yeah, DJs right. on Westwood. I don't know. Uh, Richie Rich is probably one of the producers. Richie Rich, there. brilliant. I don't yeah. know who that is, but he's he sounds great. fantastic. Yeah, there's quite a few good guys. Yeah, yeah. good, good, good. So with DJ Duffield Lee Hal, who's from Radio One. Yep, they're mm. all in stock. They're yeah. all there. Yeah. Now that brings us on to your involvement in, yeah. in, the, in yeah. the in the piece. Uh, what what's your job there? Well, I've I've kind of come up with it for a start. It was my idea. It was your idea to have a night out. No, no, it was my idea. You to invented. <laughs> <laughs> So you're now claiming that you invented socialising? <laughs> no. What we've done is there's this really nice club, and I really What's like it. What's it called, club. please? Uh, club 49. Club 49, okay. And it's a really, really nice one, Bar 49. When's the first one? Let's, uh, let's get that. 4th of July. Okay, so the first is the 4th of July. That's the launch, but no one, no one listening to this will be able to come. Why? Because it's a very, very exclusive night. Get fucked. No, it's a proper exclusive night we're doing. Well, that can still be exclusive. There's what? what? All the five people listen to this. Why can't they come? Am I coming? Yeah, you, 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 you should come. Can I bring a guest? Yes. Brilliant. Right, so I'd like to say to the listeners now, if you'd like to accompany me on a date, because I've already got a date sorted out, so not particularly for girls, but if you want to accompany me on the 4th of July to, what's it called again? Club 49. Club 49. Or Bar 49. In, so- in Soho. Yep. Bar 49 in Soho for the first Benders night. We don't know it's called Benders yet. I can't believe you're missing this. Benders. Yes, I know. You said it was going to be called Blenders. Yes. I keep calling it Benders. I know. So you're taking Benders as a possible name now? No, I'm, just, I'm I'm trying to be polite by saying, oh, we don't know if it's going to be called that. I'm being polite. I want it to be called Benders. Well, of um, course you would. Okay, so if you want to come with me, but just drop me an email, um, and, and you can come as my guest. The proprietor of the establishment, Soho's new Chris Quentin, Raji James, is going to be... Uh, what, what are you going to be doing? He's, he's told me I can invite people, so if you want to come with me, drop me an email, and I'll take you down there. Well, I'm going to be meeting and greeting. I'm also going to be um, making sure that the money and stuff... Right, hang on. And don't just skate over that. What? Meeting and greeting. Yeah, we're going to make sure the people that we've invited come along. Are you going to be on the door? Possibly, yeah, for some of them. <gasps> and, um, yeah, I'm just going to... You're going to be like De Niro in... De Casino. Casi- in Casino, De Niro in Casino, it's, yeah. that's going to be you. That's me, yeah. Oh, this is going to be brilliant. But it's been, you know, it's like it's one of those things I've always wanted to do, is get, you know, because I've always, like, worked in pubs and stuff for the years, and I was... What, what do you mean, as I know it's one of those things you've always wanted but to do? You, you come on. You've mentioned this before. Every bloke, every bloke wants to run a club or a I pub don't. or... Oh, you do, really. You'd I don't. love it. What would you love, a restaurant, then? No! You, you'd love somewhere like that. Social place. You can't tell me what I would love. Oh, you no, would. I wouldn't. Yeah, you would. I don't socialise at the best of times. No, but if you were running it, if it was no. your place and it was like hot, I can think I can think of nothing less desirable than that. Well, anyway, that's what we're doing. But that's what you're doing. So yeah. So, so you're going to be meeting and greeting people on the door. Probably. Are you, what, are you having celebrities there? Is uh, that yeah. the idea? Mm. Mm. Only for the launch night, just to dr- bring attention to it. And it, they, this is the thing. What sort of people you have? Well, we're not cheeky gonna... girls. We have the cheeky girls there. No, no. Hey, I met one of the cheeky girls this week. I don't know which one it was. On the cat. road. She was on her own, yeah. Did they go out on the road? Well, this one did. Oh. And it was at a casting. I was going for my casting and she was in, in reception. Yeah. And, that. and I'll tell you what about the cheeky girls. What? Fucking hypocrites. Why? Because when you do touch the bum, they go f- <laughs> They fucking <laughs> shout for security. <laughs> <laughs> fucking you didn't. hypocritical you cow. Didn't. I really did. No, you really didn't. I really, really did. <gasps> Did they get security? Or she? No, I did it. I did it very surreptitiously. Um, I sort of, I, I sort of walked behind her and 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 was aware that I had made contact with her bum and just chuckled oh. to myself. I didn't even do it on purpose. So, will the cheeky girls be there? No. Why? No, because we're, 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 we're it's it's not going to be like a right. Sort of if if the cheeky girls are listening to this now, if you're that if you're that cheeky girl that I sexually assaulted, essentially, um. Uh, the person building. No, no, it's not person building now. Are you, are you admitting to a sexual assault? Yeah, right? I'm admitting. I haven't had sexually assaulting. <laughs> I sexually girl. assaulted one of the cheeky girls. Raji, there's not a court in the land that would convict. <laughs> <laughs> there's not a court in the land that would go. The, the, the judge will go, politically correct as I know this will sound, she was asking for it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All he did was as he was told. But anyway, if you're listening, whichever one you were, I don't know what they're called, fucking Frankenstein or whatever you're called. If, if you're listening now, I would like to... Cordially invite you to the opening night of Benders, it's not the- which is at Bar Forty Nine in Soho on July the fourth. Um, as my guest, I, I would like to go and, and take whichever cheeky girl it was. Yeah. Um, Might be Club Forty Nine, but we're, we're changing that. Whatever it's called, anyway. Club Forty Nine, Bar Forty Nine. It's in Soho somewhere. You'll you'll know you'll know. Basically, 
if you see a lot of people walking in one direction, you'll want to go in the other direction. And that's how you'll find at Raji's club night. No. If you see lots of people walking, some of them running, you're gonna, you're some gonna crying. Rue the day. You're going to rue the day. Some crying. It's going to be a big night. And screaming. We're going to have lots of fun. You want to go in the opposite direction, towards where the you, you know you probably might think it's, there's been some sort of terrorist atrocity. <laughs> it, it won't be that. It's just that Raji James <laughs> has decided to open a club night in Soho. Um, so cheeky, cheeky whatever you're, you're called. Uh, which cheek should we, what should we call her? Left cheek. All right, left cheek. <laughs> Le- left cheek. If you're listening to this, I would like to invite you as my as my date. <laughs> How old were you when you lost your virginity? Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. How old were you? Thirteen. Thirteen. Yes. Really? Yeah, really. Thirteen. And I was brilliant then. <laughs> I was brilliant then. You are such and a liar. I, and I'm brilliant now. You're a liar. I was 13. Why, why, why would I lie about that? Because you're all saying you're brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And, 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 yeah. What, at sexing? Yeah. I'm fucking brilliant at sexing. <laughs> I really am, honestly. If any of my ex-girlfriends were still talking to me, they would... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they, they would does, verify... Does the fact that they're not talking to you not tell you that you weren't that, that good, maybe? Do you think that's what it is? Well, if, if you were that good... Yeah. You know, I'm sure that people would put up with certain idiosyncrasies. I think, I think I'm the sort of person that you just have to let go. <laughs> You're a freak. I really do, though. <laughs> I think I'm the sort of person that you just have to go, fuck, I just can't talk to him. I just can't be near him anymore. Because you're too much. Is yeah. that what it is? Too much. Just too... Is it ten times a night and all that? Too sexy. Right. What's your record for times in a night? Not to actually have sex. What's the most times you've ejaculated in one night? Two or three. Really? Ask me mine. What's the most times you've ejaculated in a night? Sixteen, sir. Thank you very much. Sixteen. Sixteen. Thank you very much. No way. Between the hours of nine o'clock in, at night and nine o'clock a.m. Sixteen. Twelve hours. The last that it was with it just would not fucking leave it alone. Oh really my wouldn't. God. It you became, must have been red raw. There was no liquid left in my body, sir. <laughs> no, I, I was yeah, I was red. Oh I was red raw. It was honestly. I mean, a great thing to think back on, but at the time I can remember going, please not again. And and she was that persistent that. It got to the point where you're like, okay, one more, one more. My Sixteen God. times in one night. So it's twelve. That times wasn't no, that wasn't sex. There, there was some sex involved in that. So it's less than a, less. That's about forty minutes a time. I don't know what it was. I think some of them were even closer together than that. But the thing about it is, as well, that it, it ruins it in many ways. So what's your know, recovery time? Nobody wants to get tired. Nobody wants to get tired of blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Too much of a good no, thing. No man wants, wants to, or, or girl for that matter, wants, wants to ever go, no, don't go down there. <laughs> you never want to say that. You never want to hear yourself saying that. No, probably not. But, no, yeah, 16 on that. Well, What's my what time, did you say? Recovery time. Between ejaculating and being able to start again. Oh, well, this is, it will seem like a boast. Well, and what, and the rest doesn't. Well, it's not boasting, is it? I think it quite clearly is what, boasting. That, that some girl essentially kidnapped me and fucking... <laughs> Forced me to ejaculate 16 times in a night. Honestly, the fact that you were able to ejaculate the, 16 the, times the, in a the night. The pleasure aspects of it, when I'd say about six in, <laughs> <laughs> it was just a feat of endurance. Is all it actually was. I was much younger, by the way. I wasn't. I don't think I've managed that now. What do you think you've managed now? Well, I don't know. Should I try it? Go on then. Before the end of the podcast, should we see how many times I can go? <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have, you, have you done one yet? That's while it. we've been talking? No, no. I have today, but not not yet. Today? Yes. What, self-help? Before I left the house. Self-help? What, you mean masturbate? Yeah. But that's... Why? We, what sort of question is well, that? Well, no, because I do find that interesting. What, what, what? Why did I masturbate? Well, why did... Yeah, what, what was it that happened that made you think, oh, I just knocked one out? I woke up. <laughs> that's that's what conscious. happened. I was conscious and awake. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, Raji. Well, who needs a reason? Who needs to go, whoa, whoa, whoa I could have a No, I don't think i bother. If... If there's a fucking couple of minutes to spare... <laughs> Is that what you do? You absolutely. Spend? When I had day jobs, I used to go like two or three times a day. No. To the top. Yeah, for, just to break up the day. What, <laughs> during work? Is that unusual? Well, I don't know if anyone does that. I've never, I've never interrupted my present work. <laughs> yeah, you're doing a gig. I, I've never stood on stage and gone, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, do, do, are you... we'll have a short interval now where I go and knock one out. <laughs> Is it... Have you ever done that though before, like before going on? Um, th- there's two stories that I could tell you go on. about that. Um, I'm only going to tell you one of them. Oh, okay, go on. Um, tease. I once had sex when I was at college. It was in experimental theatre at Bretton Hall. I'll say where it is now because Bretton Hall's shut down now. Okay. In experimental theatre at Bretton Hall, above the theatre, like where the actual stage was and stuff, above that, 
there's the, like, I don't know what they can call them, galleyways or, 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 for the technicians. To oh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, the, like the light run. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sort of I don't Light grid. Like, yeah. I once, during a performance, uh, that I wasn't in the way, I wasn't Oh, right, okay. Um, during a performance of a show down there with a sold out theatre, had sex up, up in the gallery up there yeah but anybody in that audience could have looked up at any point and seen it wow so that's one of them that's pretty good yeah but I've done stuff in like dressing rooms and that but no that, that one in there I forgot about that actually and yeah that's, <laughs> that's probably the best one is having sex so you really are a bit of a sex machine then aren't you really a bit of a sex machine because yeah, you joke about it a lot and I sort of sometimes just think it's a persona but you actually genuinely are aren't you dark side yeah but that's not dark is it well, you're spreading your couldn't, loving couldn't see a thing <laughs> I was, yeah, I was above the lights. <laughs> <laughs> that's your dark side. Yeah, that's my dark side. I've got the other side of the My light. dark sexual side is that I like to have sex in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> so from beginning of relationship Sometimes. to end of relationship, is that, is, that, is, that the, is that the thing, just stay in the dark? Yeah. And then once the lights come on, that's the relationship over Absolutely. With. They turn the light and go, fucking hell, it was him. And, 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 they, and they leave. They leave. Never to be seen again. They say, I, I know I said it was me and you forever, but it just can't be. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> okay, so we're now going to do that the, the new section. The proper section we're going to do every week, yeah? What proper section we're going to do every week? You know, what we talked about, where, where, where we're going to, you know, have a proper question. Remember, we talked about this. What the fuck are you talking about? We talked about this, about having... We didn't talk about this. Have you dreamt it? No, you, we said... When? When we're talking about the new sections. What the fuck are you talking about? Right, well, I think we... The, the, sec, the bit where I can ask a question... You've had a conversation with yourself. You've sat and fucking talked to yourself and mistook that for me. Raji, <laughs> what the fucking hell is wrong with you? No, look, no, I'm, don't. I'm genuinely... What do you mean, no, don't? I'm genuinely no. concerned about your well-being. <laughs> no, come on, stop it, stop, no, stop, I'm con- no, I've got stop, the question. stop, stop. But I've got the question. Listen. I'm genuinely concerned about your well-being. Why? I think there's something very weird going on with you. <laughs> I've had other people say as well. You know Ed, Ed from the Drum Review? Yes. Who's going to be doing one of these with us in a few weeks, by the way? Yes, I good. said he could. Good. Ed, a very funny bloke. Well, Ed was saying the other day that he's worried about you as well. Why we're, is he we're worried? We're both really worried about your well-being. What? You seem to be like you're having a bit of a breakdown. I'm not <laughs> and, breakdown. and the other thing we're worried about as well... <laughs> This is a genuine thing that we're worried about. If you keep breaking things... I don't keep breaking... I broke a table by... No, and it was, no, right. We were in Durham. I went and did a gig up, up in Durham. I yes. took you, because I didn't yes. want to sit on my own all that way. Yeah. We <laughs> drove up to Durham. We went via Leeds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we drove around Leeds Town Centre for fucking ages. Went the wrong some, way. Yeah, we did. With your sat-nav. Uh, well, OK, well, the less said about my sat-nav, the better. And then when we got there, I did my gig. All was fine. Yeah. I had loads of ladies bothering me and stuff. As, as, as always. As yeah. always yeah. was. Yeah. Um, and then you were sat on a table holding court. You were sat on a table. Well, I had people ask me questions. You yes. were holding court, sir. Yeah. And you were sat talking to other people, and either God got bored, <laughs> or, or you did something. The table that you were sat on just broke. Yes, it did. But you didn't move, right? It, it literally just broke for no reason. Yeah, it broke under me. But, but that still, can happen. Wait. Maybe tables aren't meant no. for being sat on. Well, that's, maybe. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine. I put this to you, sir. We were in London the other day. After we did, <gasps> oh, our, after we did our castings, we were in London. I bought that's you dinner. You did. Like a little orphan. I, got you, <laughs> I, I bought you some. I you bought you KFC. We walked across to Leicester Square and went and sat down. You sat on... For anyone who wants to go and check this, you can, by the way. It's opposite... Is it Angus Steakhouse, was it? Yeah. Where, wherever the Swiss... The Swiss clock thing is. Yes, that's right. All the people that, watching that, the that clock. That corner there where the clock is. Yeah. Um, as you walk into Esther Square, there's like a little, looks like a ventilation shaft thing and it's got a concrete top. Yeah. Or rather it had a concrete top. <laughs> because you sat, and please note that the word concrete is very important in this. <laughs> Fucking <was>. concrete. <laughs> you sat on it. You look like you're about six stone at the best of times. <laughs> You sat on it, and you were sat on it for 20 minutes, and then suddenly, it just, it just broke for no reason. <laughs> As if God had got bored. But I wasn't even talking or anything. But it, it was fucking, it was majestic though, because it, it broke, it, it made did. a fucking hell of a bang. It did. Everyone turned around, there were pigeons flying into the air all of a sudden. <laughs> It was terrible. It was like a bomb had gone off. Yeah. But, and it was, it was you sat on a concrete slab that just broke for no fucking it reason. It, it completely broke in half, didn't it? Well, you know, that's, that can happen. What do you mean that ha- can happen? Well, the good thing was, because of that experience, what happened when that man came and sat, you see, that man came and sat next to us, and I could therefore warn him that there was cracks and stuff, and it, was, it could possibly break on the side he was sitting. Right. So he moved, didn't he? Okay, so... So I say, I could have saved his life. Okay, that's your version of the story. So yeah. your version of the story is that a gentleman... I saved wait, his stop, life. Stop, stop. Your version of the story is that 
a gentleman came over. He came and sat on the concrete. Yeah. And you warned him about oh, this concrete could break. It could be yeah. dangerous, and he should leave. And, and he left, and you saved his life. That's your version of the story. Well, he didn't leave. He sat on the other bit. Here's what happened. <laughs> oh God. Here's what happened in real life. <laughs> the gentleman came over, sat on the on the concrete. You slapped him on the side of the arm. <laughs> Pointed at the broken concrete and went, I did that. <laughs> That's what actually happened, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah, but I didn't mean Like that. a fucking remedial four-year-old <laughs> who'd just done a crayon picture of his family yeah, and then what? smiled. Anyway, listen, you're babbling now just to stop me asking the burning question of the week. Right. How about this one, right? Why, right, as happened today with the, when the Skyman came, right? <laughs> Why right, do people... you, no wait, right, before you go any further, because you see, now you're assuming that people listening to this know what that means. Right. They, they may go, fucking hell. Ed might be listening to this now going, fucking hell, Raji right, started believing in the Sky Man. <laughs> the man from the company, Sky, who fit to, dishes. To install your to, Sky. To, right, he came. He came, and uh, I, I've made a little bit of a mistake, right, because obviously I've just moved into this place and everything. And I've yeah, got that, which was a mistake. No, it's the amount lovely, of money spending on the fucking lovely place. Lovely new place, right? But I've, By I've, the way, if anyone could just send in a few pounds to help Raji with his rent, that would be more than uh, if you could more than appreciated because yeah. he's completely bitten off more than he can chew with his pay, pay, you, PayPal, Netella, any you, of those. Beautiful house, but he can't afford it. It's it's <laughs> simple as that. He cannot afford this this mansion that he's fucking <laughs> renting in South East London. I didn't hear you moaning when you were in the pool. But anyway, <laughs> uh, listen, right? That wasn't a pool, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Digging a hole in your garden does not constitute a pool. <laughs> it's an outside wouldn't, that, wouldn't that be a great thing to do one day? So you just dig a massive hole in your garden and then call out the pool cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> just fill it with water from a house pipe so it's all shitty, dirty water. And then put, call out a pool cleaner and see what they do. We should do that with a hidden camera. Let's do it. Let's okay. do it. But listen, Go the on. burning question, right? Yes, I'm listening. As was shown by that man from Scotland. Because something that's always bothered me, and that's what I think we, we... Remember, we discussed this, and that's what the question should be about, is something that's always bothered us. And that we, we've not got Raji, an answer to, we right? didn't discuss this. We did. Don't. Don't, because you'll be really horrible. I'm not being fucking horrible. I'm just <laughs> telling the truth. We did not have this discussion. We had a huge discussion about You've it. You've dreamt it. Listen, I swear on everybody I've ever known in my life <laughs> and cared about's <laughs> life... That right. We did not have this discussion. Well, let's just pretend we did. Let's imagine we did. Things that bother me, right, and this is something that really does bother me, right, is why, when there's absolutely no need to, right, that people in certain service industries, right, just lie, okay? And they, and they do it really, really definitely. They do it, like, really as if, as if it's absolute, that, that's it, right? It's like saying about the Sky Man who came today, right, the man from Sky, right? He came today, he came to the house, and I've made a little bit of a mistake, right, which I don't have an actual telephone to plug into my phone socket, so yeah. I couldn't test whether the phone line was working. Mm -hmm. And he came and said, oh, where's your phone? I need to test your phone line, because you've got to have your Sky Box plugged into the phone line. That's true. Right? And I said, oh, sugar, I forgot the f to get a phone, but surely you can test it. And this is what he said, right? If, if you can't guarantee that the phone line's working, I can't proceed any further with the installation. That's true. Right? Well, that's the thing. You think it's true, don't you? Because someone's know. told you that. No, I know it's true. Right? Well, it's not true because we, me and him, phoned customer services today while he this was This has here. gone away from entertainment. It's become fucking public service broadcast. No, but it? this is the thing. It's why people lie when Listen there's no need to. Listen to the Ray Peacock podcast if you right? have it. It's a bit like Watchdog. <laughs> But with a fucking backward ex soap, <laughs> actor, ex -soap <laughs> actor talking utter shite. You know, you have to be selective about what you believe. No, but listen, this is true, right? There was no reason whatsoever for him to lie about that. Because when he phoned up, the woman at customer services quite clearly said, Oh, well, that's fine, you can do it, as long as you can guarantee the phone line will be active within six weeks. Right, well, so him saying it as a definitive statement that, oh, you'll have to rebook it and blah, 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 was just a lie. Well, it's not necessarily a lie. Maybe he did believe that. Maybe he thought that and they've made a special dispensation for you because you were once in the bill. But if you can make a special dispensation, then that means it's not a truth, isn't well, it? Well, all of them can make special dispensations. But that's why that's I what changed my me. address on my fucking direct line the other week and had a big row with them because he wanted to charge me 13 quid to change my fucking address. See, but they didn't have to, do they? No, but that's part of their... That's what they want to do. That's, that's part of their rules. But as soon as I kicked off a fuss, he went, OK, well, on this occasion, we won't charge you. But that's still part of their rules. But that's so, not so point. as far as that little fellow who came in here your sky in is concerned party line is to say that they can't do it unless you've got a guaranteed phone that's line. just a big fib though because he knows that you could do it and in fact he did do it 
And as it turns out, the phone line was working. Yeah, I'm sure he knows... And he it was his equipment that was I'm sure he knows that he can physically... I can't believe that we're going to try and pass this off as entertainment. What? Well, Me is... and you fucking talking about the bloke that put your sky in. You said you wanted to have something serious. To no, I didn't! <laughs> We've established this already. You fucking said it. You dreamt it. You fucking came in here and, and went, Oh, remember we had that conversation? There was no conversation. The only conversation we've had this week is about how come when you sit on things, they break. That's all that's happened. We didn't have the conversation. You're banned from talking for the rest of this podcast. And I'm not going to talk, so it's going to be rubbish. We're taking up valuable megabytes talking about your fucking ridiculous theories on the service industry. That's like going into a shop and saying, why do they lie to you about the price of things? Why do they lie to you about... I don't think it does cost 45p to make a Mars bar. Why do they lie to you? Because that's what it is, because it's a business. We all hate business. Business is a bad thing. It's evil. What was it that James Spader said in Boston Legal? Saying it's... <laughs> <laughs> Saying it's just business is what allows good people to let the evil people get away with it, or something like that. I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs>this podcast now this week I've, uh, I've talked to you more than enough hold on I'm, al- I'm already here far later than I intended you can, to be are you I've finishing got, off shush I've got to go to Wales tomorrow but you finishing off I've got off. to Bristol tonight so yeah I'm doing deal or no deal one of course tomorrow. deal or no deal you know the banker I don't know the banker Right. And then I'm going to go to Wales. I've got three days in Wales, so I'm going to leave your house now. Okay, but enough. before you go, don't forget, we've got to do I, the I stuff for next week. More than enough. No, we've got to do the stuff for next week, because you, you've got to ask for the burning question. If you, I and swear to fucking God, what? stop making things up. <laughs> Look, don't, because it's not fair, because this is the chance for the listener to get involved. Because we also said about the fact that if someone sends in a good enough burning question, then they can become one of our special guests one week. Well, that'd be brilliant, have one give of the listeners. Give me that mic. Give me that mic. No, no me right. Me. I'm on both mics now. You're not talking anymore. This is my- shut up! No one can hear you. I've got both mics. In fact, I'm gonna break your mic. There's your mic broken. Right? I'm gonna finish it off now. Thank you for listening to the Ray Peacock podcast. I can only fucking apologise this week for Raji James. I can only apologise there wasn't a third person here. I can only apologise that we've passed this shambles off. It's a bit fuck it. As if Chortle are gonna host this now. Chortle will get this disc with the person go, for fuck's sake, we are not putting that up. Well, thank you to Chortle if you do put it up. Chortle.co.uk. The UK's premier comedy website, and that hurt me to say that, but I had to say it just to fucking make sure that he still puts it up. This has been the Ray Peacock Podcast, which has been a big enough production. It's been produced by me. I'm producing this one. Raji James has got nothing to do with this at all. It's been a pleasure to be in your company. I I swear that by hook or by crook, there will be a third person on this podcast next week. Because I am not enduring this fucking idiot on his own anymore. I normally say see you on the beach. I'm not even going to say that. I'm just going to take my mic off. I'm going to rip it from the face. Throw it to the ground. and I'm going now. Thank you for listening. Do you know who I want as a guest? Who? And who I will never rest until we get them? Who? Jordan's little baby, Harvey. But can he speak? It doesn't matter. But what would we do? I think the sound of him running against walls, banging his head, will be funny on a podcast. Don't. Don't what? Because that would only happen if Jordan was here. Like, yeah. Because like he only seems to have accidents when he's in her company. No, it doesn't. The, the fact of the matter is, is, is it seems that he's not in her company. No, isn't it that she... I saw in the front of a magazine this week, it, the headline was, The Truth About Harvey's Latest Accident. Oh, that's a His latest accident. Oh, no. For, for, what the fuck? Do you know what? In any other fucking situation, that child would be taken off that one. Yeah. They can't yeah. be much... Unless he's being rebuilt like the bionic man. As well, if he needs rebuilding the fucking size of that child. And do you know what? It's, it, I just don't think... I'm wincing. Why? Well, just because it's, again, we're getting into territory. It's, it's just not fair, because it's about a child. And do you know what? Action. The fact of the matter is, you can say, oh, it's just a child, it's just a child. I'm confident that, that Harvey could twat me. <laughs> if he wants to fucking fight back, he could come here and fucking batter me, that baby. I mean, pr- I can fight. Yeah. He could fucking leather me, that child. Well, he's obviously very resilient. He's massive. He's obviously got a quick um, recovery period for his, you know, yeah. sort of physically. He's sort of person, maybe if you, you know, if, 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 if he were to be knocked down, he obviously gets straight back up again. Too right, he does. And is rearing. He's a fighter, that kid. Yeah, well, good God, on I him. I love that kid. See, I'm not criticising him. No, I'm actually, yeah. I'm championing him. Yeah, good on him. Yeah. Excellent, yeah. And his, his sight, his sight's grown back. Is it? No. He's not blind, that baby. He, well, isn't, yeah, he is. No. Oh, come on. He might be registered blind, but he's not, he can see. Oh, is this like your David Blunkett theory? Well, no, my David Blunkett theory is that he's... He can completely see. <laughs> that, he's just com- that he's completely putting it on. And the only reason he does that thing with his eyes is because he's evil and he's got Voldemort on the back of his head. <laughs>
But no, but Harvey. But other than that, I think I think, I think, I think Harvey's registered blind, but I, I'm sure he can see. He's fine in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I think this this one might get banned. <laughs> I think it already has. This might be the banned podcast. I think we'll have to ban it ourselves. Oh, I'll tell a show of a secret. It's I heard that <laughs> raped someone. What? That's what I heard. Didn't he go to court for that? Did he? I don't know. I, don't know. I heard that he raped a woman through a window. Are you making this up? No, this is what I heard. Through a window? Yeah. How can you make someone heard, through a window? I heard that... Um, and I, I've got nothing to back this up with, by the way. I don't know if this is true or not. I heard that... ...said to this girl, who'd come back to tell you something, I'm really into the idea of you sort of leaning out the window while I, uh, while I, have, se- I have sex with you. And, um, and she going, OK, OK. And he, and he, she leant over and, and started having sex. And then she looked downstairs and... Walked out downstairs and waved at her. What? It was his mate was fucking her. No. That's what I heard. No way. I heard that. I also heard that he racist. Who? And I also heard that their marriage is a marriage of convenience. I heard that is always fucking other people. In fact, I heard there's a, a story that has been told so many times that it must be true. That they were doing panto one day and this runner came up to the door, knocked on the door. Uh-huh. The dressing room door, knocked on the door. Opened the door, he had some flowers for her and she was on her knees. Um, <laughs> sucking somebody else from the crew and she took the cock out of her mouth and went oh what must you think of me and then started sucking again that's no. what I heard that's what I heard wow I'm not sure we can use any I of this I don't think you can use <laughs> any of that but it was very interesting yeah. and I uh, appreciate you telling me those It'd things be good to have it as a deleted scene uh, I don't think you can you'll have to beep the names